Okay, here next one is a light harvesting complex. So here the antenna part or the light harvesting complex which is formed by chlorophyll molecule and uh, the accessory pigments like uh, carotenoids. So here uh, this is present in the thylakoid membrane. And uh, so these are uh, made up of chlorophyll molecules and uh, accessory pigments. Pigments, accessory pigments like uh, carotenoids, uh, which contains both uh, carotenes and also xanthophyll molecules. And here, uh, the light harvesting complex contains uh, the reaction center. So that is represented uh, based on the uh, wavelength of light where the maximum absorption is there. So here two types of light harvesting complexes are there. So based on that one, each of them will have the one reaction center. So here light harvesting complex 1 have the reaction center as a P700. So here P represents the pigment. So the pigment where the maximum absorption is taking place at uh, 700 nanometers of wavelength of light. and uh, the other one is light harvesting complex 2. So here the reaction center is uh, P680. Here P represents the pigment and uh, 680 represents the uh, wavelength of light where the maximum absorption of uh, light is done by the chlorophyll molecules which are, are uh, the accessory pigments which are present in that uh, light harvesting complex. So here these are called as a photocenters and uh, which are concerned with the process of uh, the absorption of light. And here uh, where does these uh, th harvesting complexes and reaction centers are present means they are present in the thylakoid membranes and here these are uh, being considered as a photosystems. The presence of photosystems uh, have been uh, discovered by Emerson scientists. According to him there are two types of photosystems are there those are called as photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. Those are called as PS1 and PS2. So which are uh, considered to be the protein molecules which are uh, concerned with the light harvesting complex. So that means uh, fourth system 1 contains uh, LHC1 and uh, reaction center as a uh, P700 and uh, PS2 contains light harvesting complex 2 and uh, reaction center as P680. So likewise uh, the antenna part that is light harvesting complex and the reaction center both of them are the part of the photosystems. So likewise here two types of photosystems are operated in the thylakoid membrane in which the light reaction is taking place where the absorption of light and uh, the rate of photosynthesis will be determined. So if you see the difference between uh, photosystem 1 and uh, photosystem 2. Here in the photosystem 1 the reaction center is uh, P700 whereas here the reaction center is P680 that is uh, the maximum absorption of light is taking place at uh, 700 nanometers of wavelength here the maximum absorption of light is taking place at 600 nanometers of wavelength and here these are uh, present in the thylakoid appressed region. Whereas PS2 is mostly present in the granathylakoid. That means uh, it is also been present in the stroma thylakoid also, but mostly present in the granathylakoid, and uh, they contains more carotenes, whereas they contain more xanthophylls. Of course, that means uh, more carotenes but less xanthophylls are present in PS1 whereas more xanthophylls and less carotenes are present in PS2. And here the ratio between chlorophyll A, here they contains both chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. So the ratio between chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B will be 4 is to 1 whereas here the ratio between chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B are 1 is to 1 and uh, the ratio of uh, chlorophyll and uh, carotenoids 
is about uh, 25 is to 1. Whereas here the ratio between the chlorophyll molecules and uh, carotenoids is 5 is to 1. This PS1 will participate in both cyclic and uh, non-cyclic electron transport whereas this will uh, take part only in non-cyclic electron transport. And uh, it contains electrons for it contains electrons for PS2, whereas uh, it obtains electrons from photolysis of water. Here it is not connected to OEC oxygen evolving complex whereas as a photolysis of what is taking place it is concerned with the OEC so it is connected to OEC oxygen evolving complex and uh, it uh, donate electrons to NADP plus. So, NADP plus is reduced to NADPH whereas here it uh, passes electrons to PS1. So, that is uh, they will be moving to the same system. So, likewise these are some differences that can be observed between the photosystem 1 and the photosystem 2. If we see the photosystem 1. In the photosystem 1 as we know it contains a light harvesting complex that is antenna and the so here the antenna part which will receive that uh, radiation at a uh, wavelength of 700 nanometers. Likewise these are the chlorophyll molecules so which are taking the radiation at uh, 700 nanometers of wavelength. So, here it is a light which have been taken by them and uh, the energy will be transmitted from one molecule to the other like this. And here the it is considered to be the P700 the chlorophyll molecule releases electron and uh, this will be accepted by the primary acceptor. So, this is a primary acceptor. When it is uh, when the primary acceptor is taking that electron this will be converted into reduced form or we can say reduced by the acceptor. Reduced by accepting electron. So, this part will be the antenna region and uh, here this is a representation of uh, the donor becomes oxidized with the uh, electron release. So, this is considered to be the reaction center. So, here this is a one which is uh, taking place, this is a process of uh, the antenna part and the reaction center where the electrons are uh, being released by the reaction center that is a chlorophyll molecule which is P700 and that is accepted by the primary acceptor. Whenever the primary acceptor is uh, receiving that electron, it is undergoing reduction and when the primary acceptor is undergoing reduction, the donor, the P700 is a donor here which will be becoming oxidized because of the release of electron. So, this is a schematic representation related to the PS1. In the same way let us see the PS2 organization 
where uh, energy transfer is possible. So this forms a photosystem too. It also contains uh, the light harvesting complex that is antenna which is uh, made up of the chlorophyll molecules. So here also the electron movement can be shown. And the primary acceptor of electrons here and here also the primary acceptor when it is accepting the electron it will get reduced and uh, this forms the reaction center and uh, this is a antenna region. So this is a uh, antenna part which is made up of P. 6AT that is pigment uh, where the maximum absorption of uh, photosynthetic light will be at 680 nanometers and uh, this P680 will release electron and uh, that is a chlorophyll molecule by which the 680 is made up of that is releasing the electron which is accepted by the primary acceptor that is uh, undergoing reduction. So this is a schematic representation and here the loss of electrons will be compensated by the photolysis of water that is the water molecule will split to form oxygen protons and electrons so these electrons are being accepted by the p680 likewise this uh, uh, relationship will be existing between the the electron transfer in uh, ps1 and the ps2 molecules which are made up of uh, the antenna region and the reaction centers. By taking the light they are excited the P680 is excited and releasing the electron whenever that is excited that is uh, losing an electron and getting oxidized and uh, that uh, electron is uh, absorbed taken by the primary acceptor and get reduced and the loss of electrons in the P680 chlorophyll will be compensated by the photolysis of water with the help of oxygen evolving complex.